Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. Another thing that came from the SELECT trial was that the, the mean dose of patients treated was uh, just over 17 milligrams. And this is in contrast to the starting dose of 24 milligrams. Um, what's interesting is that many patients had to undergo dose interruptions, dose reductions um, for treatment-related toxicities. And despite these dose reductions, the response, the progression-free survival, was preserved in those patients. Um, anecdotally speaking, um, I've got patients who have been on the trial for over three years now who are down to doses as low as 10 or 14 milligrams and still are doing really well. So I think the take-home message that, that I would offer to the community oncologists is that the starting dose of 24 milligrams may be too toxic for um, a number of patients that you're treating and I think it's totally reasonable to allow for dose interruptions and allow dose reductions to en enable keeping the patient on linvatinib and, um, and I believe the data show that we will still see ongoing um, long durations of response at the lower doses. In terms of dose reduction with the medication, um, one of the things that's important to remember is that the, the dose of 24 milligrams, which was the starting dose for the, the phase three select trial, is derived from maximum tolerated dosing that was uh, explored in, in the phase one clinical trials. And so in phase one clinical trials, we escalate the dose of the drug until we achieve the maximum tolerated dose. And the important point here is that the maximum tolerated dose is simply the dose that most patients are able to manage. It has nothing to do with the efficacy of the medication. So more than likely, we have already surpassed the, the therapeutic threshold, so to speak, for that medication. And as such, I think it's reasonable to be comfortable reducing the dose to get to a level that the patient can manage with reasonable quality of life. And as long as we're still seeing um, the, the tumor response, the benefit on restaging CT scans, I think the, the lower doses we can have these patients, the, the better off the patients will be. In, in terms of the exact process for how we go about uh, adjusting the dose of the medications, of course, we would like to keep the patients on the starting dose of 24 milligrams, if at all possible, simply because we feel that the strongest data suggests that um, the best responses, both with tumor reduction and progression-free survival, occur at the, the 24 milligram dose. Having said that, some patients simply are unable to tolerate the dose of 24 milligrams, despite supportive care measures to um, manage their treatment-related side effects, whether it's joint pain, um, pain with swallowing, hypertension. And so in those cases, when we've already maxed out what we can do from a supportive care standpoint, it's reasonable to um, reduce the dose of the medication. Typically, what I like to do is have the patient hold the medication, hold the linvatinib uh, for a few days to a week to allow the side effects to improve or resolve, and then I'll start them back at um, the next lower dose level. In the SELECT trial, uh, 24 milligrams was the starting dose, and the next dose level down was 20 milligrams. So typically, we'll go down to 20 milligrams and let them try at that level. If they're able to tolerate it, then we'll stay right there. Sometimes, I think it'll be reasonable to even escalate back to 24 milligrams once they've been on 20 milligrams for some period of time. If they are unable to tolerate 20 milligrams, the next lower dose level is 14 milligrams and I would feel comfortable um, reducing the dose to that level if that's what's absolutely necessary in order to have the patient remain on that medication.